Hello and welcome back. Uh, I wanted to go over today the operations and give you a few visuals of a parallel LC circuit. Our, our red inductor right there and blue capacitor make up our parallel circuit. Uh, the oscilloscope that you see is just touching the ferrite core. It's giving us a pretty good signal. Nothing to take readings off us, but gives us a visual of the AC signal inside. Um, the amp meter is inserted in series with one of the leads of the signal generator so that we can get an input power reading. Uh, as you can see, right now we are at resonance and we are drawing about 2.65 milliamps AC. And uh, I want to show that actually if I increase the frequency, you'll see the amperage on the milliamp meter go up. You can see it's going up quite steadily, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130, 140, and so on. You'll also notice that as I go, the amplitude of the wave decreases, and it tends to max out with resonance. So, back at resonance here. There we are. You'll see that the peak amplitude of the wave is happening while there's minimum input current. That is because this is acting like a huge resistor in the circuit. It is of a large impedance. And because of that, very little amperage is flowing from the signal generator through the circuit. Yet, at the exact same time, it is obviously very energetic at this point. This is incredibly important. One thing I did not include in this is an amperage reading within the LC circuit itself, but a little bit of common sense and knowing your basic laws will tell you that the amperage and the voltage are going to be interchanging with each other cyclically within there. And uh, this will be the point at which amperage is the highest at well as well inside this circuit.